we need to be funny. <laughs> Hold up, wait, wait, just give me a sec. I can't say this, sorry. <laughs> hey, this is good. Hi, I'm Teresa. And I am Chiara. And we are from Mies TV. Due to the corona situation, we couldn't come to Oslo and had to come up with solutions. Lucky us that we found these wonderful guys in Oslo that helped us out. Uh, my name is Christopher. I'm Sebastian. And I'm Noah. And the three of us are students at the Oslo School of Architecture. Have fun. And enjoy the following episodes. My connection to empty buildings uh, stems from the project City on the Move, uh, which uh, started um, as a project for, um, for the uh, Oslo Architecture Triennale. It started um, when the, the biggest cultural institutions uh, moved to the waterfront uh, and leaving behind empty buildings with no future uh, ahead. Uh, and it became so many that a lot of people started voicing concerns about what will be, what will come next. I like to trace the, um, the, uh, the start with citing the, the wealth that came from the, uh, the discovery of oil. Uh, I think that has a, a big role in why we are building so many new things now uh, and why it has happened so quickly. Um, a second reason is uh, has to do with the cons consolidation of the main cultural institutions, mainly the, uh, the museum, uh, the National Museum, which before consisted of several um, different entities like the Museum of Architecture, uh, the Museum of Contemporary Art and so on and so forth. Um, and also with the um, uh, different projects of uh, re regenerating the, the, uh, the waterfront. Uh, so that's, that's why it's so many uh, empty buildings. It is the official authorities. It is Statsvig who owns a lot of the empty buildings. And it is also uh, the municipality uh, who also owns the buildings who are also the uh, the ones responsible for the uh, the care uh, and the usage I guess by using a building you you, you it's a continuation of the history uh, so I think in that way it doesn't it doesn't disappear it, it gets to have uh, other fates. Uh, so I think, yeah, like the best way to, to remember and to honor the history is, is through use. And by, by letting it stay empty um, can have severe consequences such as uh, the decay of it. Um, and also it is a physical structure that is uh, taking up a uh, space that no one is using. Um, the many usage uh, for empty buildings. Um, you could you could use it as a student housing uh, because we have a housing shortage here, uh, and especially with um, the private renting market, where students has to use up, I guess, more than ninety percent of their their student loans to. Uh, to pay these uh, landlords, so we're basically subsidizing uh, the the lending market. And I think by yeah maybe using some of the empty buildings to house students uh, and even artists uh, could be a really good good idea because right now artists can't afford to live in the city or work in the city and. And that has, that has some consequences. I think there should be stronger regulations on how long a building can remain empty. It sh should only be a few months. It shouldn't be, shouldn't be a year. It shouldn't be 10 years. Uh, 
but as for today, there aren't aren't any such like strong regulations on it. Also, has they've had a long history of house occupants. Um, their fates are dependent on whether or not the property they're staying in. Uh, will be sold or not. I mean, occupation is by definition illegal, but just because something is illegal doesn't mean that you shouldn't do it. Um, it's, a, it's a form of activism. Uh, and it's not like the occupants are, are doing any damage uh, to the buildings. A lot of them actually do a lot of maintenance care, which the owners has neglected to do, which is a very important point. Um, like those kids. Uh, they actually did maintenance. They painted, uh, they fixed stuff, um, which is more than you can say about the owner. Um, so I think that, not that I'm encouraging <laughs> uh, occupants, uh, but um, people try to, to tell, I mean, it's not as if this hasn't been alerted about before. So occupation, I guess, is... Um, is the last stance. I guess, you know, if you don't, if you can't really take words, then I guess actions would speak louder.